Hey, what's up guys? Robot Raptor here, and we're playing some more CK2, a Game of Thrones mod. We're going to be playing as Lord Roose Bolton III, the Leech Lord of the Dreadfort. We're currently playing in the Robert's Rebellion scenario, so this is... I felt like I wanted to go back to where everything began, so this is a very... Hopefully this will be a fun playthrough to do before the final few episodes of Game of Thrones air. This is right now I'm playing on the Friday before the Sunday that the first episode of season um, 8 airs. So I'm excited and I'm just taking a walk back in the past, remembering all these faces and characters. Most of everyone that we're going to see here um, is dead. <laughs> Current, well, spoiler alert, spoiler alert for everything. Everyone that we see here pretty much as of right now, is dead. We'll even make the Lord, uh, the Night's Watch important characters. So, yeah, I'm excited. I just want to get some, uh, videos out, hopefully. I, I'm kind of ashamed to admit this, but I've been trying to make some videos for quite a while now. Several weeks I've been doing different playthroughs, and, um, either the game has gotten harder, or I just suck, because I swear I die within, like, an hour of playing and that's not good for like a series I don't want to it's in, it's in, it's embarrassing and I don't know why I'm saying this <laughs> but it's embarrassing I'm like come on I'm making videos on this I don't want to freaking look like a loser can't even hold his kingdom together so hopefully Lord Roos doesn't die hopefully instead we do quite a few killing of uh, killings of our own so I mean the Rome is in a state of war. We have Lord uh, Ned Stark of Winterfell. I'm loyal to him to a point. I mean, I'm going to let him take uh, what is his rightful men from my lands to go down south and fight. I don't know if I'm going to personally accept an offer to lead his armies, but I'll definitely go down, send my own men to go down there and fight. Uh, the weaker my lord is, the better for me is how I see it in case I need to, I have the feeling to rise up myself. So, I mean, I'm not gonna, it doesn't matter who wins the the Robert's Rebellion, because let's say King Aerys the Mad wins. He's gonna be upset with Ned Stark, Robert, uh, Hal, uh, what the hell, Hal, Holster Tully, and Jon Aaron, right? He's not gonna be upset with Lord Paramount, Roose Bolton, so it's not gonna affect me whether or not we win as much. If we win, Ned Stark's going to be in a very powerful position, being best friends with the then king. If we lose, Ned Stark might be killed, leaving behind Benjen of uh, the North as heir, who I don't know how good he'll be, or um, possibly Catelyn could be uh, pregnant, leaving behind if Ned Stark is beheaded at the end of the war. If he loses, that could leave behind a baby as Lord Paramount of the North which would be good for me. Again, weakness in my higher-ups is what I look for. I smell blood. I strike. I'm like a shark, okay? So, again, just look at the ambitions. I'm not gonna... I don't really care if we win the war or not. Let's have a daughter. Try to get some alliances going with that. Let's go to seduction so we can seduce my wife, who is a rice well. Again, we're going to have to make some alliances with the Northern Lords. So, first alliance that we'll try to cement is my father-in-law, Lord Ricewell of the Rills. He's, I mean, decently powerful. He has 1,500 men. Not the strongest vassal, but he is a high lord, which is very... It's a good alliance to have. I'll probably look towards the Dustins, maybe. Um, Carhold. Um, Umbers. I don't know if I can break them. Or maybe the Manderleys are too loyal to the Starks. I don't know about that. So we'll work on the uh, the Ricewells for now. Hopefully we can get them to our side. If In case anything happens. You know, I'm just looking towards the future. I'm just looking towards the future. We also have two children. I have uh, my trueborn heir, Domeric he, Bolton. He's a poet. Very, he's a wonderful lad. I love him. He's my pride and joy as of right now. Uh, he's... Again, True Born by Bethany. And then we have Ramsey Bolton over here. He's a uh, ugly bastard, fussy, and quick. I... <sighs> See, 
Ramsey's parents, see, they were trying to get married without my consent, right? So I just took my lordly, you know, given right of the first night, right? So, you know, I might have showed up to Ramsey's parents' wedding. I might have killed his would-be father. And I might have raped his mother, resulting in Ramsey. I can neither confirm nor deny any of those. If Ned Stark found out, it would not be good news for me. You've never asked me about your mother. She was a peasant girl. Pretty in a common sort of way. She was the miller's wife. Apparently they'd married without my knowledge or consent. So I had him hanged. And I took her beneath the tree where he was swaying. She fought me the whole time. She was lucky I didn't hang her too. A year later she came to my gates with a squalling baby in her arms. A baby she claimed was mine. I nearly had her whipped and the child thrown in the river. But then I looked at you, and I saw then what I see now. You are my son. They shouldn't have gotten married without my consent. I would have just said, yeah, sure, you know? I would have taken my first uh, night right, of course, but I would have just been like, yeah, sure, whatever, dude. Just let me get in there first, you know what I'm saying? So let's get our council going. Improved defenses, Dreadfort. Um, anyone better than you? An 11 in Gradon. But you're a lord. You're lord of Overton, so I'm going to keep you there. Again, trying to keep my vassals happy themselves. So you can improve diplomatic relations with the Rills. Send you over there. Let's train troops in Dreadfort. Let's collect taxes. Let's scheme for right now, that's fine. Uh, perform charity, you know, all the good stuff. Yeah, so I mean, things are going pretty well so far. He took around 2,000 men from my lands. These are my men right here. We are making money per turn. I'm just hanging out here, just waiting to see what happens. I mean, Ned Stark, I'm not, I, I don't have anything against Ned Stark. He is a great guy, I'm just, I just want power for myself, and he's standing in my way. So, you know, you gotta, you gotta take out those in your way. I am 28, so I'm, I'm older than Ned Stark. I'm a, not an old man yet. I mean, I'm gonna be like 30 in two years, so he's only 20. He's barely, barely out of being a boy. What quality of education would you like to purchase for your courtier, Alan? I'm not gonna, are you kidding me? An ugly, slow boy? Throw him to the... The wolves, okay, buddy? Don't, I'm not gonna spend any money on that guy. It's bad enough I have to deal with a Ramsey. I'd like to invite you to join a small gathering of friends on the stony shore, Fisher. You know what? Of course I'll come. Carousing. I like these guys, you know? Just working on building as many alliances as I can for the possible future. Looking at factions as of right now. Liege Loyalists. Oh, for me, good. My Justice here is a Liege Loyalist. Um, no one has started a faction for the Kingdom of the North as of yet. We could do something for Lord Benjen, we could be a Liege Loyalist, or we could overthrow the monarchy. So far, I don't like any of those choices. Renifer Longwater seems to be the first casualty of the war. Was killed in the mist of combat light by Lord Paramount Hoster of the Trident. So, again... Oh, my lord. Okay, the Trident just got slaughtered on the on their assault in King's Landing. I don't know what the plan was there. How many men were even in that assault? Looks like, I don't even know. Pretty much the entire Trident force just marched into King's Landing completely blind, completely unhelped by any of the other loyal uh, rebel forces, and they got crushed by the entire loyalist force. That was awful for them. Ray was executed. Who's this? A wildling? Um, a wildling infant was just executed um, at the hands of Cargyle, Jontos. So, I don't... I, that's awful. <laughs> you should have just took... You should have took the boy, raised him as a normal southerner, and then had him join the watch. Like, you don't... He didn't need to kill the zero-year-old boy. 
Um, I've arrived at the private rooms of Lord Jarl. There's plenty of food and drink here, and the mood is decidedly merry. I'm looking forward to this. Let's get it started. Lord Roos Bolton, the carousing master. Let's take a look at what the Lannisters have decided. Have they joined the war at all? Have not joined the war yet. Tyrion the Empress is heir still. Let's take a look at this. I am now best friends with Lord Jarl of the Stony Shore, one of the weaker northern lords, but again, that's fine. My lord, to, uh, my mission to the Rose has so far been a success. Excellent. My father-in-law likes me a little bit more. 20 for a few years. Excellent. He just doesn't like that I'm ruthless, but now marriage ties and improved relations, he definitely likes me. Let's see if we can actually move our diplomat, possibly. We can. So this is where things get interesting. I'm going to possibly take a look at our neighbors. We have 5,293 men. Take a look at car holds. 3,000 men. Take a look at the Umbers. 3,000 men. Hornwood. 2,700. That's a lot of men. For just one tile, that's a lot of men. Possibly even Widow's Watch. 2,300. Okay. 870. 870 at Dawn Forest. Okay. Let's... Let's make a move for Hornwood. Let's uh, start fabricating claims on Hornwood. This could possibly anger the Manderleys. We're starting to encroach on their territory. We're already uh, bordering them at Overton. We could completely start bordering them at Hornwood. They could have a problem with that. Possibly join with the Hornwoods and start fighting me. That is what happened in the actual history. When Rob Stark went down south, Ramsay Bolton moved into Hornwood lands, and... Uh, Manderley did not like that. Wyman did not like that, and a small war broke out between the Boltons and the Manderleys that Bran had to deal with. Um, yeah, it did not it did not end well for the Hornwoods. John Aaron is now known as the Careless. I wonder if he's gonna have any children with Lysa. Is she gonna? Are they gonna be able to have any children? Because he is fifty eight. He needs to stop leading his armies, and he needs to go home and have a child. Unless he doesn't really care. Maybe he sees Denise the Darling, uh, the Darling of the Vale. Maybe he thinks, you know, he'd be a fine heir. I mean, he is a formidable fighter, attractive. He's a great guy. A knight. He's not. He wouldn't be bad at all to rule the Vale. I liked having you as my friend, but our differences are too. What the hell do you mean, Jarl? We have nothing in common anymore, and I feel I feel it would be best if the two of us are no longer friends. Oh my gosh. Um. I want to be our, your friend. Do, don't throw our friendship away, Jarl. You're a weak man. Trust me, I can help you. Can we possibly get an alliance over here? Assassinate? No, alliance. Non-aggression pact. Can we have a non-aggression pact? Dude, what the heck? Yes. Oh, my... my. Oh, he's the treasurer. Oh, nice. He's the treasurer and I'm the Castellian. Okay, so we're both on L uh, Lord Ned's, Lord Eddard's council, so that's good. So that's a lot of power that we could have if we do band together. We could influence Ned Stark. We have a, uh, we can whisper in his ear. Excellent. But we can't have a non-aggression pact, which also means that we can't form an alliance. I think the only way to do that would be through a marriage. He does have a daughter. But do I really want to throw away, possibly... Um, one of my two children for such a weak lord. I don't think so. I'm looking for more, you know, the Ricewell type lords. Carhold, Umbers, even the Glovers. You have any children? Nope. Manderleys I don't trust. They're too loyal to the Starks. They would never rise up. Long live the king. King Ares has died a mangled mess. What happened to him? Was he, like, leading the battle or something? Okay. Now, Rhaegar the Scholar is king. Um, it looks like... We yeah, got Robert's army was crushed. The the Loyalists, 33,000 men outside King's Landing. The Trident and the Vale have somewhat joined together, but they're about to be destroyed. Where's the North? Do we have any Northern? Oh, my Lord. They're on Driftmark. That's definitely where they need to be. Oh, my gosh. My wife's pregnant. Excellent. Bethany doing your job that is just awful these 
the the Targaryens are gonna win. <laughs> I'm calling it right now, unless something crazy happens. Under my guidance, my son Domeric is slowly mastering the art of swordsmanship. Excellent. He's now a poor fighter, just like his father. I'm a trained fighter, so. Don't really imagine Roose Bolton as the best swordsman, but maybe I can train my son to be better. The pregnancy has caused my wife to develop quite the unusual taste. Most of what she is asking for dinner nowadays ranges from mildly unsettling to positively revolting. Still, scholars do agree that a pregnant woman's cravings should always be accommodated. Um, let's give her some fish eye, if that's what she wants. Oh, okay. It's no big secret Lord Rorge is after my job as Castellian, but he did surprise me when he asked me outright for help. Should I really teach Lord Rorge the secrets of my trade only to make it easier for him to steal my position? Um, I mean, I do need allies. Let's see if I can... Oh, we could become close friends. I'll help him. I'll help him. He'll become an ally, hopefully, and then we can... Oh, no, Ricewell just was slain in combat. Rickard Ricewell was slain in combat. Oh, no. By Archmaester Valen of the Citadel, really. They had the, the Archmaesters on the battlefield here? The hell? What battle was he in that the Archmaester was fighting? If they can somehow manage to kill Rhaegar, he's in parchment right now. Then the throne will be left to Prince Aegon, a two-year-old boy, which will probably give them the best chance they have. I think fighting the army that Rhaegar's leading, killing him by some miracle would be the best uh, hope they have. It's a good tradition to have gossips around a pregnant woman. Yeah, let's get the woman some, uh, let's get my wife some gossip going. I don't know what they're gossiping about. But let's get it on. Maester Oswald has received some of his latest ideas. Oh, shared some of his latest ideas with me. I do not know much of medicine, but perhaps he's onto something. He has asked for some money to develop his theory further, as long as it's not too much. 20 gold. 17, you're a strategist, you're a maester, you're a mastermind scholar. Okay. Please give me something good. Okay, maester, please. Write a book. Lord Peter Littlefinger has declared war against the tyranny of Lord Paramount John the Careless. Oh boy, 546 men. Oh lord, he has two children? Whoa. Oh, they must be twins. They're not twins. Oh, the one's a bastard. By Lysa. Oh my. Oh my lord, that's what this war's about. Lysa, you couldn't keep the secret that you were sleeping with Littlefinger? You had to let it slip that this is a bastard? And now Tyr Littlefinger's possibly gonna die. John Aaron, he's not careless when it comes to who's sleeping with his wife, and now they're gonna kill him. Um, news from King's Landing of a trial by combat. Jamie Lannister demanded a trial by combat. So it looks like Jamie Lannister was put in prison for something. Not because of his father. I wonder why Jamie Lannister was put in prison. King Rhaegar Targaryen provide. Uh, yeah, he proved his innocence by slaying Sir Willem Derry. Oh my gosh. So Jamie Lannister just killed Sir Willem Derry. Was he... Were they both on the Kingsguard? Well, now neither one of them are. And now Jamie Lannister is now uh, free to be heir of the Westerlands. Excellent. Good for him. Invite to court? No. Okay. Seduce. Oh, hello. He wouldn't accept that either. Ghost Hill down here in the south has joined Robert for some reason. Um, I definitely still think the uh, Loyalists, the Targaryens, are going to win. But, you know, still anything can happen. We just had a beautiful daughter. Actually, I lie. We just had an ugly daughter. Her name is Daisy. It seems good with me. I fulfilled my ambition to have a daughter. Excellent. My next ambition will be... Mm, create a treasury. I want to find something. Relaw Targaryen just out of the pox. Oh, no. So now the two... Uh, the, the once king and queen are now dead. Now we only have Rhaegar and Elia, Queen of the Iron Throne, the weak, disinherited, attractive, quick Martell, and the attractive, quick Targaryen. Aegon Targaryen died of the pox. Okay. So now Rhaegar's son just died, so now we're down to Viserys. Daenerys wasn't even born in this timeline. R Stannis Baratheon just died of the pox. Jesus. Oh my gosh. Lord Peter Bale. Yeah, Peter Baelish just got uh, defeated. Yeah, there's an epidemic, so there's pox going on. Just killed several 
major characters in this war. Maybe if... I mean, how many Targaryens are even left? There's three Targaryens left, all in King's Landing. This pox has the uh, capability to just wipe them off the map, which would be awful, but kind of hilarious. Look at him. Look at Rhaegar. Oh my god, he's gonna die. He looks awful. <laughs> Where's Rhaenys? She's in hiding, at least. Grandchild of incest, yeah. Um, who else is the other Targaryen? So we have Rhaenys, Rhaegar, and Viserys. Is he in hiding? No, he's not. He could possibly get sick and die. Oh, no. Well, let's keep an eye on Rhaegar. Look at that look. He does not look good. He does not look good at all. Uh, Ned Stark just had a child, Lord Rob of the North. Oh my god, look at that long hair. That's crazy long for a one-year-old child. Rumors have been uh, about a plot brewing here in Winterfell seem to be true. Hopefully I can uncover it in time. Right. Well, Rob Stark has been born. Possibly he could eventually become King of the North. We have Eddard Stark leading troops in Dragonstone. He is now uh, coming down with the flu. He does not look too good himself. Oh my lord. Rhaegar, what happened here? He is the pox. Minus two health. Oh my, this is not looking good for him. He's still leading troops. Stop leading troops and, like, lay down your arms. My friend is inviting me to a, a party. Sure, I'll go. Rhaegar's gonna die. 